Back you, baby. TikTok's fighting back, Esso. The E S S O with the dollar sign. When you type his name twice, put one with the dollar sign and one without. Make sure that algorithm runs. Heineken, it's simple for me. Snoop Dogg decides he wants to partner with TikTok. Okay. Why do you think he did that, Esso? Because you said it was a bad move for TikTok and TuneCore. You don't think it's going to be successful? No, I don't think it's going to be successful. So why Snoop Dogg would partner with them? Because um, did you notice what I said at the end, too? I said that, like, they, re- that they did bring on Papoose. Yes, they and, did. And maybe Papoose is enlightening them to what the streets and what the people want. Now, I could see him coming there because he has a face that he can know like a Papoose and Snoop Dogg. Bought Comfortability. A, and Snoop Dogg bought a catalog. See, Snoop is in the business of, of masters. These people don't got masters. Like he owns masters. So of course he's gonna take it and put it on a platform where he can gain money from his masters. Did you notice that they just made a big deal about the chronic going up on on um what, what did the chronic just go up on finally for the first time? Um a- a- Apple Music. Yeah. I did. They they just had old frames for the chronic and all the rest of that stuff because he owns masters of the catalog. These people that you're talking about, they don't own masters in the catalog. I, all I'm seeing is TikTok just partnered with TuneCord. This is a shift in the culture because they don't want to deal with the scenarios or the situations with the label. Like we spoke about on the other episode, $12 billion is what the label wants to come collect. Understandable. They're looking to pivot and make a shift. Snoop Dogg is still culturally relevant to, to, to our culture and across as well. White people love Snoop Dogg. Pakistani people love Snoop Dogg. He posted you on his page and you went binoculars viral. If I'm an artist and I know the legacy of Snoop Dogg and I see he just deal, did a deal with TikTok and TuneCore to distribute all the things he has going on with Death Row. I don't even know why we're talking about no, this. No, no, Snoop no, no, Dogg no. is not new. We were talking about new artists breaking on TikTok. And Snoop and, Dogg and, 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 in the Death Broke old catalog is not new. And so you also what said are we talking about? you also said you need star power. You need I names. didn't say that. I didn't it's say that. Snoop Dogg does bring star power. And and that doesn't normally work for every artist. That's he, he, he he's a special. Let's let's be fair, Esso. He's a the right special. He, he he's a special case. Let me give y'all credit. It, they, they picked pick, the right nigga. They picked the right nigga to fight back with. Okay? <laughs> if you want to fight back, 8 to 80, blind, crippled, and crazy, they know Snoop Dogg. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, now, is it is it a, a big blow? They still have a mountain to climb. Let's keep it real. I'm not ignorant to that. That's a good start. It's a good start. They're just climbing a mountain. All I'm saying is, do I want the labels to be crippled? No. We need the labels. We still need the radio. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Ghost is raising his hand. YouTube's getting involved. YouTube has a licensing resource called Creator Music. And YouTube is the number one streaming platform. It surpasses Disney Plus, Netflix. All of them combined, it still surpasses them to a high level. I just saw the stat on that. Um... That's interesting. You still need a star. I mean, you still need, they, you, y'all, they have to make a star. But think about this. YouTube has created a lot of stars that people didn't know about. You know, hey, why not? YouTube has been a vehicle, okay? It's a damn good vehicle, but you need more than one vehicle. Your popularity they, has come from where? YouTube and Instagram. Now, now, and, Instagram but, but, and TikTok. Yeah, I'm on TikTok on what my other people pages is going viral. And I'm not saying that that's the only thing. I don't want to minimize. It's all the, the biggest thing. It's the biggest thing. YouTube is working with Empire, Believe, Downtown. A whole bunch of throw, throw your record up against <laughs> the wall, niggas. I mean, a whole bunch of YouTube would partner up with a whole bunch of throw it up against the wall record label niggas and slavery records. Niggas. Hey, 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 listen. Get out of here. Y'all are doing that. That's a, that's a, that's a point. A hundred <laughs> record labels involved. That's was like, what's going on here? A hundred record labels, labels involved. All the, all the other ones. You ain't gonna get no cash money. Hey, you, you ain't never know. No OVO. Why listen, not? Listen, TuneCore, YouTube, and y'all funky fly dudes. Land Drake and all his new artists he's putting out. 
You never know. I'll be impressed. You never know. Hey, YouTube might cut Drake that check. They have you the got money. got the money. No. They got the money. About Drake's catalog because that's by cash money. It's about Drake and break his new artist. Why his not? New artist. When the, okay. This, I mean, Drake ain't breaking no new artist. Yo, 21 Savage, you lit. Come on. Let's go do a record. What are you talking about? Hey, hey. That's what I keep saying. Ain't nobody just picking these. Yo, come on. Come on. If you got them like this, yeah, I'll, I'll break you, shorty. You're right. I'll break you. You keep sucking like you sucking. I'm going to put some marketing dollars behind you. I'll do a record for you. Hey, YouTube, YouTube can put you on the front page, the front channel. They'll put you on the recommendations. Ghost, you know how the YouTube recommendations work. The search browsers. They will force feed that mother effort in your face to get back their money. They're just going to be like, hey, they're, at, they're printing. They're essentially printing their own money off the backs of these artists. They're going to have the artists like, you know how that, remember? Who the like, F is that? I was your man. <laughs> oh, okay. Remember that old record? Remember that? <laughs> Does anybody know what the fuck they look like? No. Okay. You're going to have a whole, exactly. You want to be a, a, a fucking rapper or a singer to have a hit record all summer, make no money off of it, and nobody know who the hell you are? Sign with Heineken uh, it, and TuneCore. We did an interview. Sign with Heineken All right. and TuneCore and YouTube. Be the motherfuckers that don't nobody know about, that has a hit record that generates money for everybody else, and nobody fucking knows you. All right, cool. We sat down with Greg Street. Tom Heineken. No, radio legend. Radio legend. Remember what he said, what he paid for to help get his artists, that artist's exposure? What did he say he paid for? I don't remember. Oh, you forgot? Remember what he said, Ghost? I don't remember what he said he paid Side for. Side the Prince? What did he pay for? I don't know. Why would you he, just say No, it? he paid for the top <laughs> slot for the big video player on Worldstar. He didn't say, hey, I'm going to funnel it through the radio. Okay. I can play it. He, he said Why that. Why did he keep testing me? No, no, no. I'm just saying. Why does he keep testing me? No, I'm just saying. What's that artist's name? Who, what's the artist's name? What's the artist's name? Uh, you do tell you remember? me. Uh, he, it was do you a, remember? You remember the statement. What was the artist's name? Who was the artist? You tell me. Sahai the Prince. And what was happening to Sahai? What's he why doing he, right why now? Did he need, why did he need to put the money hold in on, on Sahai? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's he doing right now? Who? The man we're talking about that was on the face of Worldstar. I don't know. You know what he needed? What? You know what else he needed? And this ain't taking nothing from, from Saha the Prince. He needed to take get that world star to get to a record label so they could put the promotion and marketing dollars behind him. I know he was linked to Kanye. That's what I mean. You... That world star buy was led to Kanye. Okay, look. Okay. But how? No, that can't be because he was signed. No. Yes, he was when Greg Street did it. He said the dude was signed and, and they wasn't putting no money behind him. Yeah, no, but he wasn't linked. Yes, he was. Uh, Kanye said he seen him on Worldstar. There you go. He did. Okay. I, I stand corrected. Because I, I, I was there. That's how he said. He, put, he posted his shit. Kanye discovered him. And on the Kanye blog. Remember Kanye? The Kanye blog. blog. That was, that was before that your time. World Star, you put it on the Kanye Yeah, that was before your time. Yeah, that, that was. Um, so you're telling me that when Gray Street made that statement to us, it was before he signed with Kanye? Yeah. He said nobody was putting money into him. That's how I knew he, it was way before listen, this is how I grasp it, and I'm going to call Greg when we get off the phone. Yeah. Call him now. This is how call I grasp that it. nigga now. This is how I grasp it. <laughs> that Greg Street did that after he was signed to Kanye because they wasn't putting no money behind him. All right, I'm calling Greg Street right now. This is live on Bagfield, you know what I'm saying? We getting the stories because we want to see what's the... Has a that's that's full right. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. Shout out to every, Greg Street. Shout out to everybody with a full mailbox, yo. But I think Greg Street was saying that after his thing didn't work out with Kanye, that they didn't put no money behind him, and he and he tried to help him that out. Before, that, was that was before. Okay. Hey, we'll, we'll check later, and if we're wrong, we talk about it on yeah, back. Yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah, you know what I'm Because he definitely told the story. I just thought it was a different time frame than maybe than it was. My bad. But you know, but I still don't think I, I still think that you're gonna need the record label because that still goes to what y'all saying. They put them on a platform and they took them and took them to Kanye, which is a record label, right? Right. Hey. So this is what I'm saying. I mean, but right now, that's why I said they should partner. I mean, it goes back to me saying, ladies and gentlemen, 
that Tune Corp should have partnered up with a record label for this for this reason and YouTube. And Whether it's a solid partnership or not, maybe we don't know about it. But it makes no sense for them to expose these people and put these people on the front page and YouTube and expose them if they don't have a record label to take them to to do the rest of the job. Hey, listen. That's my point. Y'all just, said, that's y'all what, just made my point. That's what, I almost missed it. No, no, no. They signed Snoop Dogg. They, they did the partnership. This is part Snoop of Snoop Dogg is already a Snoop signing Snoop Dogg is an established artist already. Hey. He's came from Interscope Death Row Records already. It's still the same thing. I'm telling you, if they do it, they're gonna need a record label to partner with to funnel. It's just like when you watch them people on TV. What was the shit where everybody was singing on where Fantasia came from? What's that fucking shit? Um, American, American Idol. Idol. They had a deal with J Records. Mm-hmm. That's how, what was the point of getting these singers and exposing them to the world if you don't have a record label to send them to that's going to do the record label job? But the, the thing with YouTube is you can <laughs> keep putting out your music, letting it work out. That's what Pat Poo said. He dropped an album a month. People said that he was crazy. That was unheard of. It's not going to work. And he said that's what helped him out the most in his career, bought him the money, Bought him the notoriety. Do you know what type of talent it takes to put out a freaking album a month? But but now we're talking about, <laughs> all right, that's an album a month. It ain't nothing for these artists to be dropping multiple Pat songs Poos, a, a Pat month. Poos, why you tell these people that they can put out an album a month like they got talent like you? Pat, 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 Pat Poos, Poos. Go, back on, go back on camera and say, what type of talent you have to have to put out an hey. album a month? What type of situation? What type of studio situation? You have your own man to record yourself. Are you recording yourself? What you got money to do this? Already? Also, tell them. Guess Pat, what Pat Poos you, did? You, guess what Pat Poos did? You don't know. Guess what no, Pat Poos no, did? Pat, you got guess, these Brooklyn niggas thinking this shit is easy. No, guess what he did? He broke the rules, like you've been saying. He did. He did.